How do I move? You use the keypad. Oh, the keypad? No. The controller. Oh, that. Everybody. Welcome to another episode of State Champs Esports Atari 2600 Edition. As you can see, today I am being joined by my son Bruno. How old are you, Bruno? I am 10. 10. Almost 11. Almost 11. His birthday's next month. Uh, my name is Denver. I've been hosting all of these uh, retro Atari 2600 uh, game streams. And uh, a couple nights ago, I had my daughter, Lydiana. She was playing Galaxian. So I thought I'd uh, invite my son, Bruno, to play one of the all-time great video games, Donkey Kong. So, Bruno, is this the first time you've played Donkey Kong for the Atari 2600? Yes, it is. Um, you've played the arcade version, right? Yeah, the arcade's much easier. Uh, and um, and it has lots of great graphics. But yeah, these are pretty rough, but that's that's uh, pretty lucky. normal oh. for the Atari 2600. Uh, you're talking about an, an arcade game that has a huge um, cabinet where they can fit all the hardware and the screens, whereas oh, oh <laughs> right on the noggin. Um, whereas a uh, uh, Atari 2600, you had to squeeze everything down into a little cartridge. You didn't have the huge cabinet to deal with. So, uh, the games and the audio, the sound, are just not nearly as good. Yeah, sometimes the sounds get pretty annoying. Yeah, that's for sure. Alright, now listen, before we get uh, too far into gameplay here and, and start talking about a little bit of the history of the game, Let's thank our sponsors, Lawrence Technological University uh, in Southfield, Michigan. You can visit their website, ltu.edu. They've been a great sponsor for all of our esports programs, including our League of Legends, which if you want to play uh, or watch some League of Legends action, Joel is... Uh, Joel, who runs our uh, League of Legends tournament, he has been uh, streaming, seems like, day and night. Uh, him and his friends over at the, uh, LTU, <laughs> the LTU team. Uh, so uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. We also have to thank Hungry Howie's Pizza. They are famous for flavor. Got almost a tongue twister there. Uh, they are open and ready to uh, serve their great food to you during the quarantine here so get the app and go ahead and, and order from our friends over at hungry howie's lots of great stuff they were the company who came up with the flavor crust back in the day and then uh, last but not least we've got army michigan so go check out the u.s army esports twitch channel He's doing a lot of great things over there. Right <laughs> unlike, on my head. Unlike Bruno playing this game, uh, they've got a lot of really skilled players there over at uh, U.S. Army Esports. Now, this series for the Atari 2600 is a little bit different. It's not so much uh, concerned with great oh, gameplay. We are really more interested in just kind of reliving uh, all these classic games, showing them off, and, you know, kind of going into a little bit of the history. Yeah, like reliving the old days. Yep, because these were all games that I played when I was Bruno's age. Oh, oh almost there. Oh. Let's go. 
All right. Hey, Dad, do you want to talk about uh, the FNAF, the Five Nights at Freddy's? Yes, we later? also, uh, <laughs> myself, Bruno, and uh, my daughter, Lydiana, we're going to be live streaming some, uh, what is it? Five Nights at Freddy's <laughs> VR Help Wanted. Yeah. Okay, that's a mouthful. Uh, so if you're if you like your games a little bit more high tech and modern, because we're gonna have the, the VR headset on for that, and uh, it's also a little scary. Yeah, you gotta jump over those little holes there. Hit enter. Oh. And it takes you back to the beginning. Oh, it does. Yep. Dang. I know. That's why these games are so tough. So if you've never played Donkey Kong before, which I would be shocked if there's uh, one viewer that said they haven't played it before. Right. Or at least seen someone play it. But essentially you are playing Mario and you've got to oh. climb up the up to the top. You can't uh, let the barrels hit you. They gotta jump over all the barrels. And there's also a hammer that you can use. Yep, when you get to the top if you wanna smash the barrel oh. With your hammer, you can grab the hammer and use that. And then if you get to the very top, you can grab the girl, save her from... Princess Peach. Oh, is that Princess Peach? Yep. Oh, okay. In the, uh, in the actual arcade version of Donkey Kong, yeah. uh, it ha since it has better graphics, you can see Princess Peach. Oh, she's, you can make her out better. Now, what happens... When you get to the top, Kong just grabs Princess Peach and takes her to another level. Yeah. You're well, just like, you're just like, yeah, I did something for once, and then. See, so once you cross over. Oh, he comes yeah. further. Yep. So I gotta be careful. Now you can go over up any of those ladders. Oh, do I have to reset? Yep. Dang. Yep. All right, so Donkey Kong came out in 1981. And it was made by Nintendo. Obviously, most people know that because Definitely. Mario here went and had his own game, many games. Oh, touch my belly. Yep. I'm just and gonna hit. Donkey Kong himself has gone on to uh, many sequels and spin-off games. If I die, I'm just gonna hit enter because then it gives me more lives. No, 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 it? just keep going. That's not the point of this. The point of this is not to win, it's just to play while we. And Donkey talk Kong kind of looks. Uh, well, he does not look like a big ape or gorilla. He doesn't this. look like anything. No, he looks. No, you oh. know what he looks like? He looks like a gingerbread man. In the Atari yeah, game. I was trying to think of a game that I've played before that looks like Freddy. Because they did this, bit, they did bit. this eight-bit version, a game that that looks exactly like him. Now, uh, Donkey Kong, the, ar the original arcade game, uh, and this, uh, by extension, is considered to be the first video game that has a story that is actually part of the gameplay. And didn't th this introduce Mario? Yep, yep. Uh, we talked about that. Although his name at the time was not Mario. Uh, they changed it a couple of times, but they used the same character design. They just figured since he was going to have his own game. Do you have any idea of what his first name was? I wanted to say it was Workman or Plumber, or I forget what it was. Or he changed his job. Uh, yeah, I'm not certain that there Princess was Peach got kidnapped and then he became Mario. Yep, exactly. And now look at the games that they have now of Mario. So many, so many. Yeah, and they're so be much better than this. Now, do you know what the name Donkey Kong was supposed to mean? Because don't forget, Nintendo is a Japanese company. Yeah. So the name Donkey Kong is obviously not a Japanese name. you got to keep climbing, or you got to go down. You can uh, climb up any of those ladders there. It's not just that one ladder that you have to climb. The second board is a lot... Uh, more challenging because unlike this game you really have only one path to go the second level of and the second level isn't like the first level it's not original like this no, no it's very original what are you about? like i mean like this is like the main level no it's not the main level it's always every with donkey kong it, every level changes yeah 
<laughs> this is just the most popular level because this is where you start and where everyone knows. Yeah. But some so people... anyway, what I was trying to get to was that Donkey Kong uh, is supposed to si- signify stupid ape. Because <laughs> Kong, like the name King Kong, and then Donkey is like a stubborn, you know, tiny little horse. Yeah. So anyway, uh, since we're playing the home version, not the arcade version, I thought I'd skip over a lot of the history of the arcade game. Needless to say, it was a huge hit, made a lot of money, and so naturally they wanted to do a home video version. Well, Atari actually lost the bid. Okay, so you can go over, you can go across. Yeah, I'm going to wait till he goes back so then I can get that blue thing and then keep climbing. Oh. You go up. Go up. Yeah, I was trying. Oh, Sometimes it's um not good because then oh gosh. Go up. I'm trying. Go, you can go back down too. Yeah. That's, yeah, I'm gonna like. Why? Just keep go go all the way straight up. And go up. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Ah. Up. Up. It, 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 like, sometimes is unaccurate. Oh, go, go. Ah! Oh, Lord. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, there we go. Oh! Uh. So, anyway, Coleco uh, won the rights for the home video, uh, the home arcade version of Donkey Kong. And they actually bundled... Donkey Kong with their ColecoVision system, which is the competitor to the Atari 2600. Well, one of the competitors. There's also in television. There you go. On your first guy, too. Yeah. Not too shabby. Now, maybe try a different technique of going over to one of the other. Wait, I'm going to wait till he goes. Okay, now I go. There you go. Ooh, ooh, yeah, wait. Okay, now. So now because Coleco put the cartridge of Donkey Kong in with their count with their yeah with the console oh. they were able to sell almost six million or just over six million That's a lot. copies of Donkey Kong. Well uh, for reference, Pac-Man sold about seven and a half million. So uh, Donkey Kong is definitely right up there with Pac-Man, which is probably considered to be the most popular game. So Donkey Kong is probably, what, a close second, third, maybe, mm-hmm. for all-time games. What do you think was the second? I don't know. I'd say Donkey Kong. Oh. Or maybe Space Invaders, since that was one of the first ones. Yeah. But regardless, it... Six months after ColecoVision uh, put out Donkey Kong, they sold the rights to Atari and Intellivision. And that's why we're playing this version today. Now, from what I've read, I haven't played Donkey Kong for ColecoVision or Intellivision, but supposedly the ColecoVision is, has a little bit uh, a better than a little bit of an edge when it comes to gameplay and graphics than the Atari version, but the Atari 2600 is definitely better than the... Those fish really hate me or whatever the they Kalika are. Yeah, ah! I don't know what those little things are. Oh, you know what I think they are? In the arcade game, they're fireballs. But this, they look like fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> something. I don't know what oh! Ah! Uh. Trolling this little kid. So that's pretty much all the the notes I have when it comes to uh, good old Donkey Kong here. So Bruno, what I do is I set a benchmark score. So your high score right now is 4,400. So you get to play. Oh no, that's is that your score? Or is that the counter? Where's your score at? So 
so what we're going to do is at the end we're going to watch your score and you can keep playing and, okay so you got 300 for that level Another strategy you can use is you can just jump over it, and then that way you won't hurt yourself. No, you jump. Jump. Yeah, there you go. See? So now you can jump over it. Oh, there. That works too. Ooh! I'm close. Alright, now you gotta go to the other side. Now. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. Oh! oh. Okay, okay. So now I gotta go back down? No, you don't have to go all the way down. You just have to go to that other side. So maybe get the hammer. And then oh, and you, then kill him? Yeah. Oh. You, gotta do, you do have to jump, though. You don't have to climb the ladder. You can't cross over. Oh! oh. I was doing so good. <laughs> all right, well, you keep playing. I'll be right back. All right. Maybe next time I could have a method of, like, just going back down, like... Because you don't have to go, like, speed fast, even though you do have a timer. But, um, if you want to complete it. Donkey Kong's getting angry. You see him stomping, he's like, ee, ee, ee. Alright, let's try this. Oh, okay. Yeah. That wasn't the proper time to go. But anyways, we are going to have a Five Nights at Freddy's thing tonight um, and every night because it's flying it. You guys could get a lot of laughs out of it. We do, s ah! Ah! We do scary levels if you want to know. Oh, I went on the hole. <laughs> All right. I'm, so, I'm so used to this level, I can just like blaze right through it. I won't even get hit. And then I just jinx myself right there. I probably did. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Donkey Kong gets angry every time you go up a level. Watch. See? He's like, boom, boom, boom. The thing I don't like about this, I really like um, the intro when he comes in and then he's like, he stomps and it shows you how and why the map looks like this. Oh, so they don't do that on this version. Yeah. Because it, because the other version actually tells a story. Right. Because it tells, it shows you how this happened. Yep. And like what he's doing. Because also they put subtitles on Princess Peach. Like those word bubbles. You got 600 on that one. Yeah, so way more. Yeah, you're doing good. Oh! Alright. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. We just can't die. I think we have only one more life. Ah. Let's, yeah. Alright, you want me to... Here, you play, and then next round, now I'm going to jump in. Okay. I'm going to hit you into <laughs> playing myself. Although I haven't played this version in a while. Oh. I've got so used to speed running it that I don't really see the ba um, the barrel coming down. Oh! Almost jumped right in. <laughs> That'd be embarrassing. So I don't really need to go for the hammer in this level because it's so easy. Now let me ask you. Is this a game that you would recommend to your friends? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, if they're bored, like, bored playing what they play, like, Fortnite or something, I'd recommend this to, like, use as a little nice stress game. A little break from the action? Yeah. 
Even though it's still like. So the gameplay holds up then. Is what you're saying. Oh, oh, oh. See, now I would jump, and when he's all the way at the other end, he can grab the hammer and get him. Yeah, I'm, gonna I'm going all the way down. So then I can just walk on the other side. Oh, brother. Okay. Because last time I attempted that, it died. Now what you can do is climb up that ladder, then jump over, and then you'd be safe. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, now. And jump. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> my god. Oh, wait, I'm still alive. Good. Yeah, but you gotta start over. <gasps> no! Now wait, st go to that one. Yeah, I'm gonna wait till he does another thing. Run around. Alright, and go. Jump. Okay, that's a good method. And now you can go do the same thing. Jump, and then climb up quick. And then quick. And then... Oh! That's a good method if you want to get that done with. Oh, oh! You, went, you went too late. Ah. Yeah, wait. Oh, I was going to play. No, because it reset. Yeah, I know. I wanted to yeah, play you... a game. Because I didn't jump yet. All right. You going to trade me chairs? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Am I positioned properly? Yes. Uh, or a little but, more. Do I need to lift it up a little bit from the head? Okay, which way? No, I'm good. All right. Here, you s stay here so we can see you. Slide out. All right, here we go, folks. This is a game that I actually played, like I said, when I was Bruno's age. To me, this was state-of-the-art. This, this is the Fortnite of the early 80s. Ooh, I was going to try to climb that ladder. Ah, shoot. My timing's off here, people. There we go. Now we're talking. Alright. So that was 600? Yep. Let's go. It actually adds on to the timer, I think. Oh, maybe. Depending on how much you get. That could be. Ooh. 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 I love, like, sometimes when I play video games... I like, uh, gotta come closer I like here. trolling the NPCs, like, poke my head through, and then they try to getting me, and I'm like, it's funny. Oh, I can't go up the ladder. Because the NPCs get kind of confused if you... See, if you notice, when you got the hammer, you can't go up the ladder, so you're stuck on that level, basically. Yeah, that's why I don't really collect hammers. Oh, oh. Oh. Dodged a bullet. Okay, it wasn't letting me go down there for a second. Yeah, I was getting scared. Because I've actually never seen the third level of Donkey Kong. Alright, let's see. Here we go. You're about to see it right now for yourself. Yeah, you guys are probably thinking I'm very bad right now. For well, you. it's the first time you played it. Oh! So oh, now it takes like you back. Thing. Right, but it's a more difficult, advanced level. Hey, you gotta come closer for us to hear you. You gotta stay right up on this thing. Ooh, bless you. Thank you. So really, it's kind of like the same thing, just you throw a little more barrels. Yeah, I think they come a little bit faster. Faster and more furious. As Vin Diesel would say. Oh, they should make a, a Donkey Kong movie. They, I think, you know Pixels? Vin Diesel could play Mario. Yeah. Oh, I got 10,000, I think. Or was that my time? Uh, well, you added on. Oh, yeah, you got 131,000. No, I think it was 10,000. 13. No, it was 10,300 or something. Oh, so they really, there's no more levels, just You're two? You're too far away from the mic. So basically, there's like just two levels, but they get more difficult. I guess so. I thought for sure there was a third level. Maybe the arcade has a different situation. Because if you've been watching the, the Atari Ooh. version, it's not that Wow, well, what good. happened? Oh, bummer. You got me. I thought for sure I was in the clear. Yeah, it looked like you were good. Stupid fish. Oh, uh, I couldn't. 
couldn't get down the ladder in time. Bummer. Good thing you have more lives. Yeah, you can. Because you're so far ahead. Not just second level, fourth level. Basically. Oh, I couldn't get over there in time. Oh, that's it. Okay. So is that my score? 15,000? Yeah. Okay, so that's what I got to beat. So I'm going to play one more time. And I'll try beating your score. All right, deal. What you get. Even though I'm pretty bad, I'll, I might be able to beat it. Well, you're not bad for a first timer. You're just bad compared to someone who played it growing up. Yeah. Don't forget, I spent hours and hours. That would be like me trying to play Fortnite. It would be it's like me in the morning. You're, it's like me in the morning, you know? No, it's like me trying to play Fortnite. Yeah. I would, of course be very bad compared to you because you play Fortnite all the time. I do not. Yeah. But also, you know how I play for hours when I wake up? Well, that's what I used to do. Oh! oh! Well, it looks like I'm not going to be beating my score. Those yellow fireballs. I know. That look like bubble gum. Oh! oh! I went too soon. He juked me. Did you see that? Yeah. 4,500. All right, well... You've got either 15,000 or 4,500. Those are my two scores. I could probably be 4,500. All right, let's see what you do. Uh, oh, it gave you another life. Oh, uh -huh, wait a second. All right, go ahead. You can play it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I went the wrong way. That's okay. Oh, oh he, did you see him? He switched up his direction. Yeah, he was like, whoa, whoa. He's like, I know where you're going, buddy. the Michael Jordan of, uh, of today. fireballs. Oh, oh. bless you. Or the LeBron James of fireballs. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you put. Who's your favorite basketball player? He's got the best moves. Um, Michael Jordan. Oh, today. Oh. That are, that's a, Michael Jordan was from my day. Curry. Or if anybody knows the professor, he's like a basketball player. Well, what's his name? But he, everybody just calls him the professor. Yeah, but I don't know who that is. Yeah, me what neither. What team does he play for? I don't know. He's just like. Is he a professional NBA player, or is he just some guy that does plays basketball? I think he might have been, because he can dunk and all. Well, a lot of people can dunk. Oh. Yeah, these games, these old games, a lot of it is patience because you have to just wait and let the. I'm gonna try getting the character, hammer. Yeah. Jump, okay, and just. Stand. <laughs> just stand there. Oh, there you go. Now you gotta wait. You just gotta stand there and wait for the hammer. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. I'm just gonna. What is that guy doing? Oh, he got tra he trapped himself. <laughs> Noob. <laughs> How does anybody trap themselves? Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, you should jump back dang. to the way you came. Oh. 5,500, though. You beat my score. Yes. My second score. <laughs> I think you got a long way to go to beat my 15. Or maybe I could beat it today. Yep, you're going to have to get past this level, though. Yeah. I hate that little bubble gum kid. I just hope that one fish uh, traps himself again. Fireball, it's not a fish. I call him fish. Uh, he looks like a... I get that Whoa! Ooh, you, you got him in mid-jump. I'm gonna come and kill you. We got two people watching. Thank you for watching. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Yeah. I... 69, okay, so you want to go again, or... Oh, you're still alive. Oh, I thought you were donezo. Never donezo for me. So you still have a chance to beat me. You're halfway... Oh! To, ooh, you're halfway to my score. Okay, good. All right. Just gotta kill this little yeah, bubble Yeah, it's funny, gummy. in the arcade game, those little gaps there are actually spikes. Really? Yep. Metal spikes that you have to hammer out. 
I'm just like, dude. Alright, All right, let's try killing him. Oh. <laughs> dude. Is that it? Yeah, could I go one more? Alright, last game, last game. Last game of the yeah. day. You gotta beat 15,000 or I will be the remain the reigning champion. I'm going full pro. I'm being I'm becoming the Fortnite sweat. Ooh. See? Sweaty. You know, there's a great documentary that we should watch. It's called King of Kong. And it, it's all about the world's greatest Donkey Kong players. Now, they're playing the arcade version, not the Atari version. Yeah. But there's actually, uh, you can beat the game. And do they still sell Atari controllers? Yeah. yeah. And consoles? Yeah. You, well, not new consoles. Well... Probably on eBay. <laughs> you, yeah, you can get old vintage Atari consoles, and they have new Atari consoles that you can just plug right in. I'm becoming the blade. Oh. I jinxed myself. Yeah, you did. Because I was about to say, ooh, ah, oh, I gotta stop talking. Yeah, concentrate, concentrate. Can't become a sweat. And the time. Oh, he juked I hate you. him. He juked you. I hate it. Is that it? Yeah. You're done. All right. Well, thanks everybody for watching. This has been Denver and Bruno. Uh, we'll be back uh, later on tonight for our Five Nights at Freddy's. Yep. The VR edition will be joined by my daughter, Lydiana. And we, before we go, of course, we got to thank who? Um, Lawrence, Lawrence Tech. Tech yeah. Um, and U.S. Army, Michigan. And, yep, just Army, Michigan. Um, and Hungry Howie's Pizza. You got it. All right, until then, we'll see you next time. Flavor Crust Pizza.